Hello friends, I am Mrs. Deepali Tare, a science teacher at Acharya Shri Vijayvallab Secondary School, Pune. I teach science using hands-on activities and students also enjoy learning through activities. Today I am here to share my experience with you. In this video, I will share my experience of how I taught formation of shadows to my students. Let's see three easy hands-on activities for the same. Let's start with the first one. The objective of this activity is to identify and differentiate between transparent, opaque, translucent objects and also to understand the formation of shadows. To explain the types of objects, I have stuck a piece of transparent sheet to one frame, a piece of butter paper to the second frame and a piece of card sheet to the third frame. The activity is very simple. Place your hand behind each frame and ask students to observe it. Was the hand visible through all the frames? Through which frame the hand was properly visible? Which frame forms shadow when we place it in front of the light? Can you differentiate objects based on how much light passes through them? If yes, then give some examples. After this activity, I explain the students the terms transparent, translucent and opaque objects. I did a simple demonstration in the class. I held an opaque object in front of the light and prompted the students to answer the following questions. What is a shadow and how does it forms? Which type of object is required to form a shadow? How do opaque objects form shadow? And now to explain more about types of shadows, here is a simple activity. For this activity, we need just a torch, an opaque ball, a stick to support the ball. As the distance between the torch and the ball is increased, we can see the umra. But if that distance is decreased, we see a little lighter shadow as well that is a penumbra. In the class, while performing the activity, I asked the students to observe the darkness and lightness of the shadows. When I was changing the distance between the torch and the ball, I encouraged the students to write their observations about umra and penumbra. When I saw the observations, I came to know they understood the concept very well. The third activity that I did with my students was on size of shadow. I asked a question, what would be the size of a shadow when the screen and object are very close to each other? Can we find out directions by using a shadow? Why is the shadow always black? Can we get a colorful shadow? What is an eclipse? How does it occur? There are some more interesting hands-on activities to address these questions. Link for the activities are given in description box. You can choose to demonstrate in the class or show their videos during off period. Student may do it at home. Hope you like the activities. All the best.